So, I feel like you are waiting for somebody to, waiting for some kind of communication. Um, and it's really keeping you trapped in, in a mental state that is unhealthy for you. Um, but with the wheel here, I feel like that's going to change soon. You're going to have the strength. And as soon as that happens, some very quick communication is going to come in. Very quick. But I feel like you're going to be in a place where you no longer want to work on things with this person. Excuse me. Let me get some clarifiers. Tell me about this Eight of Wands for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The world reversed. So this person's going to want to come back around and close up a cycle with you. Or um, maybe they feel like they have unfinished business with you and want to um, try again maybe. Maybe they want a second chance. Tell me about the Five of Swords for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Five of Swords, Five of Swords. The Empress and the Page of Swords. Could be a Taurus or a Libra. They've been watching you. Or you've been watching them. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Ace of Cups reversed. Five of Cups. So, I feel like you feel like this is over. You were waiting for this communication to come in and it never did, so you decided to decided to give yourself closure, I feel like, um, and stop waiting for this person to come back around because it was just keeping you in a mental state that, again, was very unhealthy for you. And you had the strength to, um, to start letting this person go. And now they want to come back around and start working on things. But I feel like you're in a place where you're fine on your own. Tell me about strength for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Five of Wands. You're fighting some inner demons right now. Could be codependency issues. Maybe you're um, struggling with this mental entrapment here and trying to trying to um, trying to work on what is making you feel stuck. Tell me about the wheel. Queen of Coins reverse. So you're no longer um, putting effort into this this situation. You have five of coins reversed at the bottom of the deck. So getting yourself out of the cold, taking care of yourself, taking care of your own finances. If this person was, um, you know, brought you financial stability and then left, um, taking care of your insecurities, learning to nurture yourself. And you're no longer putting effort into whoever this was that just, I feel like ghosted you maybe. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Tell 
for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Six of Wands. So, I, this could be, you know, small victories, but the Leo symbol right here always makes me think, I don't know if you can see it, there's a Leo symbol right there, but it always makes me think that this is like an ego based card. You know, somebody who wants attention, seeks attention from, you know, multiple people. Um, or this could be you waiting for this person to come back around and give you attention again. Waiting for that small victory to come back around. Waiting for that message to come back around that this person wants to work on these, on the, on this issue. Or just work on things in general. But they never did come back around. They never did give you closure. And now you're going to close out that cycle you're on your own. You're going to stop putting in the effort with this person and start working on your inner demons and start working on your inner strength. Letting that inner lion roar. So let me get you an oracle card from the Oracle of Visions. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There could be um, religious differences. Um, you could be learning to practice a new religion. You could be just getting into spirituality. Faith must be enforced by reason. When faith becomes blind, it dies. The concept of this card is similar to those presented in the faith cards of my tarot decks. The selection of religious symbolism represents a gamut of beliefs. The irony of this common denominator is tragic. With so much suffering inflicted in their name, religions have much to answer for. The blindfold can represent the blind faith such religions demand from their followers, but also the blindness often shown towards the belief of others. All this is set against the backdrop of Darwinian evolution shown in red below the various golden symbols. An ironic contradiction that represents the common denominator of humanity is shared by all religions and adds a question mark to them all. So I feel like this has less to do with faith, but um, your, your, your blind, you were blind to this person's ego, this person's narcissism, this person's, you know, lack of respect to you. Maybe you were blindly loving this person and didn't realize how shitty of a person they really were. I mean, if a person can just ghost another person, I feel like they never really loved that person to begin with. So you were once this queen of pentacles a very nurturing very loving very motherly person but this person you gave blindly to this person you never you gave them more than they deserved we'll put it that way i'm not saying this person doesn't deserve to get that at some point in their life but if they're not giving to you the same treatment that you're giving to them then they don't deserve that treatment they get it they deserve exactly what they give so, um, I feel like you're going to now go into the rest of your relationships with a mentality of giving the same effort that you are given from the other person. So I feel like that was probably your lesson in this, this difficult relationship. It's the ending of a cycle. For sure. And you have a new opportunity here. But it's going to be a difficult choice for you. It looks like anyway. It's 
Tell me about the chariot for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The chariot. Why is the chariot here? Clarify the chariot for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Queen of Coins reversed. Clarify the Queen of Coins. The Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the Queen of, Co Queen of Coins here? Death could be dealing with the Scorpio. Something definitely ended. And I feel like you're in the midst of a transformation. And you're starting to doubt yourself a little bit. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You have Temperance, could be dealing with Sagittarius, but um, this is this is blending the energies. This is healing, grounding yourself. So you're slowly working on, you know, healing from this process. This could have been some betrayal that happened. Um, tell me about the Three of Swords. The Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Five of Swords. Defeat. Disappointment. Feeling like you lost something. Feeling like you lost who you really are because Leos radiate self-confidence. But let me tell you, as a fellow Leo, there are days where I do not feel like myself. So this could be one of those times where you're just losing, losing your confidence, losing your swagger. But it's all part of transforming. It's all part of transitions. It's the it's your ego dying. But you're, you know, a Leo. This is how you cope with things, is your ego. So when your ego dies, it feels like a, a, a huge piece of you is dying. Tell me about the wheel. Yeah. Fool card reversed. Not quite ready to take that leap of faith, you know. It could be, you know, with a lover. It could be something that, like, some kind of creative endeavor that you just started. You're just not, you're quite, not quite ready yet. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. And the Four of Cups. Feeling like you lost out on something. Tell me about judgment. Clarified judgment for Leo. Why is judgment here for Leo? You have nine of coins reversed. Knight of wands. Ten of Wands, the Sun, Seven of Coins reversed, and the Chariot reversed. You're not... You could be breaking up with somebody because you didn't see it going anywhere. You felt like you were the only one trying in this relationship. 
you no longer wanted to invest. You didn't want to, you know, have victory with this person anymore. Tell me about the lovers. Or maybe they didn't want to have victory with you anymore. Nine of cups reversed. Tell me about the nine of cups. Why is the nine of cups here for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Ace of Cups. Hmm. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. This could be new love coming in. Palace of Coins. And Judgment Reversed. Ooh, 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 ooh. If you were in a relationship, this person Tell me about the Palace of Coins real quick before I say this. Clarify the Palace of Coins. Eight of Wands. So, if you're in a relationship and you feel like the spark is gone, you feel like you're the only one holding things together, you feel like you're putting in all the work, somebody is moving out soon. They're moving out and moving in with a new lover. Three of Cups are first. Tell me about the Five of Wands. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Clarify the Five of Wands. We have the Wheel. And the Queen of Wands, that's your energy down at the bottom of the deck. So... Someone's moving here. Whether it be you or this other person, and I feel like you're just gonna you're gonna be you're gonna feel like shit about yourself. But you have no reason to. You have no reason to. Tell me about you are one. For Leo. Sun Moon Rising and Venus. Tell me about you are one. Queen of Cups reversed. You're not being compassionate enough towards yourself. You know, you got your heart broke. You really tried with this person. And you almost feel like they just stayed because of, you know, because they needed a place to live. Why else would the Palace of Coins be here? But you're done with it. Whether you kick this person out or they leave on their own, you're not going to beg them to stay. Bye. I'll be just fine on my own. Thank you. So let me get you an Oracle card, Leo. Best advice for Leo. We got two of them. Someone may be pregnant and this person is leaving them. That won't be the case for everybody, but I just saw this card. There's a baby in the incubator. But this is um, 
recognizing that there's no amount of, you know, it's, there's no right time that you will heal. You'll heal when you're healed. And if you ever need, you know, nurturing and you just can't give it to yourself, your spirit guides are there. They'll be there for you. Just allow yourself all the time that you need to heal. And nurture yourself when you can. And call on your spirit guides when you can't. You don't need anybody in this world. I mean, especially with those nine of coins reversed here, this is codependency. Feeling like you need somebody in your life to make you happy. And this person didn't even make you happy anyway. They didn't try. You did. You put in all the effort. So, fuck this, man. Or woman, whatever. Absolutely no one is worth you feeling this shitty about yourself or 